The nation's standard maintained, separation averted, a reunited kingdom. But what about the Conservative Party? It faces its own independence referendum in Clacton in a week's time, on the Prime Minister's birthday no less. And it won't be the only one, because the centre-right family could be fracturing even as it celebrates the UK's unity. Well, let's go from here. Let's go from to Birmingham Northfield. The party chairman heralding a pre-election cross-Britain road trip for five more years of Conservative government. Outside the security cordon, sporadic protesters shouting Tories out. What's particularly perilous for David Cameron, though, is the unrest and unruliness within his own party inside of the cordon. It isn't just MPs resigning and defecting to UKIP. There are activists tempted by their message and the voters. This conference was meant to be about a disciplined series of messages for the Conservatives to turn an economic recovery into a poll recovery and eventual election win. From the ceilings, in lifts and on staircases, the same messages. But today at least the leadership and its backers had one message for their former colleague Mark Reckless. Two days ago he was busy leaving phone messages claiming that he was enthusiastic about joining us to campaign for Rachel McLean here in Birmingham today. He lied and lied and lied again. I think his timing was awful, there's no doubt about that. But, you know, he's made his one mark now and uh, let's hope that we can forget about him uh, during the week. I wouldn't go I wouldn't as far as to say that he'd been two-faced or dupi duplicitous. Um, however, some people might say that about him. Well, look, it wasn't the ideal start to a conference, but actually the buzz is already here. As for the resignation of Minister Brooks Newmark in a Sunday newspaper scandal, he said he'd been a complete fool. What may count for the Prime Minister more generally, though, is the fact that Mark Reckless's Rochester seat is winnable. The conference hall remains on message, on camera, but UKIP's strategy of theatrical defections shows no sign of flagging. Faisal Islam, Sky News.